It's Tuesday, and that means it's time for a new episode of Draw This. In this episode, I'm going to draw a rocket. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll be using Adobe Illustrator today. We'll create a new canvas. We'll set our units to inches. And let's just make this 11 by 14. Let's start by using the ellipse tool, which is hiding under the rectangular tool there. Go ahead and draw a long oval that goes vertically down the page. We'll go ahead and increase the stroke width a little bit to something like six. And then we'll locate the align palette, which could be hiding under the window menu. We'll align to artboard and then we'll center it vertically. Let's select the white arrow tool and we'll select the top anchor point. And if we look under the Bezier pen, we can go to the anchor point tool. That'll let us convert this from a curve to a point by clicking on it. Next, let's select the eraser tool. The shortcut for resizing the brush is to hit the left and right bracket keys. So I'm going to hit the left bracket to size it smaller. Then I'm going to hold shift while painting to constrain my brush to a horizontal axis. After erasing that extra bit on the end, I'm going to go to the line tool. I'm going to hold shift while drawing with the line tool to draw a horizontal line. And I'll draw another horizontal line towards the bottom of the rocket. I'm going to go ahead and name this layer body. This will be the body of the rocket and I'll create these components on different layers. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock this layer and create a few more layers for fins and port. On the fins layer, I'm going to select the curvature tool and I'm going to draw in some fins. If you want a point, you can hold Alt and you'll get a sharp point. And keep clicking to make your points. Try to make as few points as possible. And don't worry, because you can edit the points later if you don't get them perfect. So I'm just gonna do a point there and then to end the line, you wanna hit Escape on your keyboard. Then you can click on these individual points and just move them around with the curvature tool to reshape this curve into the shape that you want. And again, you wanna hit escape to end that line so you don't keep making segments. Next, I'll select the black arrow tool and I'm gonna go ahead and just use that to squish this a little bit. If I hold alt and shift, I can drag over a clone and then I can go to object, transform, reflect vertically to flip it and move it into place. Next, I'm going to select the line tool and just use this to draw a guide so that I know where the top of these fins are. Then I'm going to select the rectangle tool and then I'm going to draw the middle fin, which we'll be seeing straight on. So we're just kind of seeing the edge of it. I'm going to go ahead and delete that guide because we don't need that anymore. And then we'll go ahead and select that fin that we put in the middle there and we will make sure that it's aligned. And then we'll select the side fins and then we'll group them together with control G. Next, we'll center those as well using the align feature. And then we'll select the white arrow. Then we'll drag a selection around the endpoints of this rectangle. And if we drag on the little curvature dots, we can round each of the edges. Next, we'll select the black arrow tool and we'll select the fins and we'll go ahead and add a red fill to those fins or whichever color you like. Let's move those fins below the body layer. And we'll need to take that middle fin and move it to its own layer above the body. So we'll go ahead and make a new layer and move it to the top. And then if we select the middle fin and we drag this little square from one layer to the other, that'll move that object. Next, let's go ahead and add a fill to that fin. Let's go to the port layer and let's draw on a port using the ellipse tool. I'm going to hold Alt and Shift together so that I can draw from the center and constrain the circle to a perfect circle. I'm going to add a fill color for that. Next, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that's centered, and then I'm going to use the ellipse tool again to draw another circle from the center using the same technique. I'm going to fill that with a lighter color. And then I'm going to go ahead and unlock the body layer, and I'm going to click the little triangle next to the layer so that I can get to the exact shape that I want and fill that. Next, I'm going to change the colors of all of these strokes to something that's a little more interesting I'll use a dark red for the fins, and for the body, I'll use a dark gray. This just gives it a more interesting effect than leaving it outlined with black. I'll go ahead and increase the line width on those horizontal lines to make some stripes. I'll go ahead and go to the port, and I'll change the line color for those as well. Now this looks a little more interesting. Let's go ahead and create some flames coming out of the bottom of the rocket. So we'll create a new layer, and we'll move that down below all of the other layers. Let's go ahead and lock the other layers so we don't accidentally click on them. We'll select the blob brush tool, which is hiding under the paintbrush. We'll select the stroke color of orange, and then we'll go ahead and paint. This will work with the pressure on your Wacom tablet, so you can draw quite naturally with it. I'm just gonna make sure I have a closed shape. Then I'm gonna select the live paint bucket tool, select the shape on that layer first, and then click inside of it with the live paint bucket tool to fill it in. Now we'll need to go to object expand, and we'll expand everything. 
We'll select the line and the fill, and we'll use Pathfinder to unite those two shapes into a solid shape. And then we can go ahead and position and transform that using the black arrow tool. I'm gonna to zoom in a little bit with the magnifier so that we can see this better. Let's sharpen those rounded edges with the delete anchor point tool. We'll just get rid of those extra nodes on the end. Let's go ahead and create a new layer for reflection to make this rocket look a little bit rounded and metallic. We'll create a new layer above the body and we'll use the curvature tool to draw in some reflections on one side of the rocket. We'll use a lighter gray than what we used on the body. I'm going to hold Alt to create a point first and then I'll draw the rest of the curves. I'll hold Alt to sharpen the points on the bottom and I'll just draw a simple reflection. Go ahead and smooth it out with the curvature tool and then let's select the flames and let's add a stroke to that flames layer. Maybe something that's like a darker orange that makes it look a little more interesting. Let's unlock all of these layers. Let's select all of the layers with select all and let's go ahead and just rotate this so it's not straight up and down and it looks like it's shooting off into space. Now let's go ahead and save this master copy by doing save as, save it as an AI file. And then if you wanna export this as an image to print or put on the web, we'll go to file, export, and you can choose PNG if you wanna preserve the background transparency. And then we wanna make sure that background color is set to transparent and you can click okay. And then now you have this rocket ship that you can put into any composition on any background you like. You could even animate it if you want to. If you wanna add in a background, you can go ahead and do that on a separate layer. If you enjoyed this episode of Draw This, go on over to patreon.com slash Aaron Rutten and make a donation now to help me continue making these free videos for YouTube. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.